Welcome Aquarius, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need assistance with right now using Shadow Healing, Cosmic Reading Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Let's get into it. Three cards for Aquarius please. Three cards for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need guidance with right now? Please. Okay. Let's have a look here, Aquarius. We have the first card out here, which is anger. Use your anger in a creative and positive way that allows you to maintain your dignity while producing a far more satisfying outcome. Yes, that's really good advice, isn't it? Okay, so next card here is defeated. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Just do it differently next time because the other way didn't work. Okay, and the last card here is stunned. That moment when time stands still as you try to make sense of what has occurred. This is the golden moment to plan your next move rather than react to the situation. Very interesting, and I wonder if this is all about this anger here. But let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so two cards for anger for Aquarius, please. Use your anger in a creative and positive way that allows you to maintain your dignity while producing a far more satisfying outcome. So what does that look like? That could be um, going to the gym. It could be going out for a run, okay? It could be channeling that energy into something creative, okay? Um, could be writing. Um, you could have a, a boxing bag or something hanging up in the garage or something, right? So really, really looking at these different ways that you can actually do something different with that anger ahead of time. Okay, and maybe have it on as a list somewhere on your fridge or, you know, whatever, in your phone or whatever, so that you can refer to it. So every time you start to feel that boiling inside of you, look at the ways that you can release it. And another good thing, Aquarius, is to look at why the anger is there to begin with. Okay, because often it's a symptom of another emotion that we're refusing to feel or we're too scared to feel. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Time out. Take time out. 100%. Give yourself a time out. Put yourself in time out if you need to. Okay, so two cards for time out for Aquarius, please. Tell me more about this. It's kind of like time out before everything crumbles, you know. Um, be receptive. Get creative. Yeah, be receptive to the growth that can occur by you channeling this energy in another way. Okay, and see how it is that you can grow on a personal level. Um, and, you know, when you understand how that can actually serve you, for example, like going to the gym, you could get really toned and fit, right? And that's a great outcome. So sometimes knowing what the outcome could be of um, actually channel channeling the energy in another direction is enough to um, motivate us to go in that direction okay so get creative with it you know some of you could be artists so it could be a matter of channeling this anger into your artwork you know whatever form that is it could be music it could be um, painting it could be drawing it could be um, poetry it could be dance some kind of movement okay whatever your preference is here okay we also have this be still interesting I feel like this is about, you know, when everything's waiting around and it feels like it's absolutely crazy, um, a bit like the representation of you here, okay, it, it's about you coming inside of yourself and remaining still and remaining calm, practicing that, that can take a bit to get, get to, um, but that could be something that you aim for as well, okay, so two cards for be still, because there's sort of this franticness about this. Okay, this I feel like here is calling on people to come and help you, okay? It's sort of like 
imagining a life that you want to live, imagining yourself living that life um, and acting as if you already have it, okay? The other thing I want to say that about this Aquarius is, is don't just do it once and expect it all to be okay. Don't get complacent, okay? Make sure you're following through every single time. You know, um, because I feel like when you do that, at the end of that, you'll be proud that you did that and you'll feel like you've actually accomplished something and you won't get down on yourself, okay? Next card we have here is defeated. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Just do it differently next time because the other way didn't work. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so... Two cards for Defeated, please, for Aquarius. Tell me more about this, please. Be fearless. Strength. Love it. Yeah, see, this is <clears throat> this card here is about you shining your light in a really positive way. Do not be afraid of how people see that, okay? Because some of you, I feel like, uh, feel as though you need to put on a front in a sense um, to kind of maybe act a little bit like things don't affect you as much as what they actually do and I feel like this is actually dimming your light okay it's dimming your hope of what can be your vision for the future so yeah two cards for be fearless please for Aquarius tell me more about this This is interesting. I feel like this is about you stepping into something new that some of you may be quite afraid to do. I feel like this is a transformation that is um, can, if you choose, um, can take place for you. Okay, because I feel like there's something here that is done. There's a cycle that's about to end. Um, and some of you may not want to see that. And maybe this is where this anger stems from. And it's going to take some strength. It's going to take strength to walk into this new way of being. To draw on everything you have in order not to release it in this really aggressive way. Okay? Um, and to go within and be at peace with what is happening. That is where the strength come, comes from. And it's almost as though, Aquarius, there's an opportunity here for you to prove to yourself exactly what you're made of. And what you're made of is the strength rather than going in and attacking, walking away in a calm and peaceful manner. Okay, so two cards for strength for Aquarius, please. Tell me more about this. Because at the end of the day, you always have a choice on that and how you're going to react, right? And it is up to you. You have the miser in turning in. There's some resentment here for some of you. There's some real resentment. And some of you Aquarians, you are allowing these outside voices to get to you. Okay. Um, and when you when you turn in and go within and go to the stillness, right? The stillness inside, they can't get to you. They can't even touch you. Okay. Whereas at the moment, there's sort of this... Um, building up this wall to keep people out or to keep the the know-it-alls the chatterboxes out the ones that keep going blah, 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 at you it's like hiding your jewels like you don't want anyone to see what you're truly made of this is a protection here maybe this is what the anger is about too to protect yourself from people really seeing what's going on or even yourself seeing what's going on. Mm. But I do feel like there's a, um, a way that you can channel it. Like I've said, in a really positive way. That's going to bring you a lot of success in your life. More, I think, than what you know. Okay, stunned. Two cards for stunned. That moment when time stands still as you try to make sense of what has occurred. 
this is the golden moment to plan your next move rather than react to the situation. That moment, that split second where you have a choice to go this way or go that way. Where you have a choice to react in anger or draw on the strength and walk away. Be fearless. Be fearless and walk in strength. Because the tiger has no fear. The tiger can walk away. It can draw on all its strength. And it can go inside and be still. And know its power. Regardless of its reaction. Right? Not really regardless of its reaction. But it's not seen. It's still, it still ha holds the... Um, It still holds the powerful strength that it possesses even when it walks away. And I would actually say more so in that situation because it takes more courage to walk away and not react in a negative way. Two cards for stunned for Aquarius, please. One more card for stunned for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Limitless. This is this limitless being, right? Reminds me of this card here. When you go into the stillness, you become limitless. All this eventually settles down and it connects in. It connects into your higher self. It connects into the higher power. It connects into a place that is going to bring you peace. It's going to bring you strength. Okay, it's going to help you to turn in, it's going to take you beyond the illusion, it's going to allow you to be fearless and let your light shine the way, in a healthy way, right, the way that it should shine, like this, okay, oh, I just heard my tummy growl then like a tiger, <laughs> um, and this is the thing, right, that, that then takes you to this unconditional love, Okay, but let's deal with Limitless first, okay? Two cards for Limitless. Because ultimately, what is limit limited? It is anger. It is negative emotions. Those are all limited. They keep us down. They keep us tied. They keep us in sorrow, okay? They don't allow us to flourish or shine like we deserve to, like we were born to, okay? They keep us in a negative state of being. They keep us conditioned. Okay, they don't allow us to step out into the and empower ourselves to be who we truly are. And who we truly are is this limitless being. Okay, and yeah, it keeps us tied down. And then we have this unconditional love, right? Two cards for unconditional love for Aquarius, please. The unconditional love is what truly resides in our heart here, Aquarius. It is from the consciousness. It is a new beginning of truth, a new beginning of being truthful to ourselves, a new beginning from living from the truth of who we are. And that is consciousness. This is being living consciously aware. It's not denying who we are. And it's not denying that we are this limitless being. Okay. So one more card for unconditional love. I can't believe how fast this reading has gone. This is, must be the quickest I've ever done. We now have guidance. Yeah. See, this is about you guiding your own way, shining your light to be the guide that you actually need and potentially the guide that you were looking for here, here Aquarius, because I feel like for some of you, you're searching on externally for someone to show you the best way to do things. What do I need to do? It's about you really turning within and going within because you have the answers inside of you. And I know that for some of you, that may seem a bit eerie-fairy. But at the end of the day, because you are this limitless being, because you are from the consciousness, and because you possess this strength inside of you, you have the answers. You don't need to seek outside of yourself for that. Okay? But when the sorrow gets on top of you, and it controls you, it gets you to fit into this 
emptiness, into the space of feeling alone, into the space of feeling like you have no direction. But then what happens is you get to that point where you understand that the light shines from within. And this is the light that guides the way. This is the light that leads you to the path that you were meant to walk on as a limitless being. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, Aquarius. So please take care of your beautiful selves. I'll see you next time. Hang on, there's no, that's not all. What else is there? Okay, I want to say to you, don't beat up on yourself, okay? You're experiencing anger and um, you're learning a new way of doing things and you trip up. Don't beat up on yourself, okay? Just know that you can try again next time and you can do things in a different way, right? You just try again and keep trying and trying and um, just keep reminding yourself of, of who you really are of this consciousness, of this limitless being, right? Remind yourself of that in those moments and remember that you always have a choice. You can live as this consciousness of this limitless being that you are or you can live from this sorrow, okay, that is holding you down. It is up to you. Okay, Aquarius, that is definitely it. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.